Hi Pisces, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Pisces, this is your general reading starting today on the 8th of May. Happy birthday to my sister. Um, and I'm including the frequency of the date, which is awesome. It's infinity sign, 8. It, 8 in itself is the strength number. It's a power number. It's really, really strong. Um, and then we have the infinity, the figure eight, the infinity sign, like everything goes on forever. There's no ending, a never ending story to everything. And also so above, so below, so in heaven, so on earth. So it's just a strong manifestational number. So that your, that's your foundation. Where did the sun go? That's your manifestation for, um, for manifestation. That is hair. <laughs> that is your basis for the reading is what I'm trying to say. So, Pisces, let's see what specifically is going on for you for the very near future. I've asked for your most inspirational, uplifting, guiding message that I can find for you in this moment in time. And I'm using the Psychic Tarot, Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. But I want to make clear that it's not a typical tarot reading because I don't know tarot. I only use the images in the cards to get my intuition going. Please fast forward if you don't like the shuffling. Pisces. We had a full moon in Scorpio yesterday. And we had like a 5-5 five, five situation. A really grand opening that's been going on. Has been a bit under the radar for me. Uh, Somebody said in the comment section of another sign that they were so in tune with the 4-4 portal that was going on the 4th of April. But the 5-5 situation was like, huh, she really felt it though. But she was like, oh, I even forgot that it was. And that's how it was for me as well. Like the 4-4 portal, I was really in tune with it. I really did a, I really even did a little video on it. And but the 5-5 was like, it sort of passed me by. But I was really had a lot of shifts over those three days, like four, five, six. Pisces, maybe I'm not too focused here. Pisces, what's going on for you? There you go. First card is patience, okay? Waiting on the third card, at least a third card. <laughs> Do you feel sometimes that the universe is teasing you? That the universe is like Playing little games with you. Maybe you're playing little games with the universe as well. Like I, I do this if you do that. I'm not gonna do this un until you do that. It's like a little mind game going on with me between you and the universe, or something like that. And you're getting a bit frustrated. So the. Um, Lock. Did you say that? On the church. Church bell. Just went off. Pisces, what's going on here? I'm getting mjölk um, syra in my thumb. What is that called in English? Mjölk syra. What is that? Milk acid. Do you get milk acid in your in your body? No. I'm not going to find that word. What's going on here? It takes forever. Do you feel that? Guys, in your life, that something's taking forever? Get on with it already? Type of feeling? You know what you want. You know 
when you want it, you know, with whom you want it. So please, for the love of please, show up. It's taking too long. It's going too slow. Something is really wanting to get organized here, guys. Really wants to get organized. Okay. So... Patience and planning. I do apologize. The program reverses the images of the cards, and I'm keeping it in for now. Uh, it says patience and planning on the bottom. It says number seven on the top there. And it's the red borders, which speaks about a new foundation or you're laying some sort of foundation right now, laying some new groundwork, ground core, core shifting, something like that. And number seven is all about on the seventh day he rested. It's so interesting because there's this seven has come out for a lot of the signs this week. And when the same thing keeps occurring like that, for me, it just means that it's like a collective thing going on. Like there's so many people, excuse me, there's so many people now that are, they've done everything they needed to do. They've uh, created, thought, wished, visualized, fantasized, this over and over again this is what i want and they moved towards it they planned for it they wanted it they waited for it they have been patient about it like, there's enough that has been done and now it's just for you to rest with the seven is like all about on the seventh day you rested it's like the god built built i don't know created the world in six days and on the seventh day he rested or so they say here comes the sun um and so it's like, it's not something you did over the weekend. It's something that has been a build up to this place where you planned for, for such a long time, but it's, it's, you're building a new foundation, Pisces. So you don't want this to move any faster. If you were building a house from the ground up, and maybe you are, literally, maybe you are building a house from the ground up. Um, you didn't want any technicians, electric people, uh, the, the people that really are building the foundation for your house, you'd, you wouldn't want them to just rush it through to get it done. You would want it to take however extra much time for them that they needed in order to build such a stable house that it doesn't only last for you to enter and for not to break down just because you walk around in it and you also don't want it to fly away just because it becomes a bit of a strong wind or you know bad weather or anything like that you want a solid good house with a solid good foundation right as strong as a foundation can be and that's what i feel like you've been doing here maybe you don't even know that you've been doing it maybe you don't sit down saying i laid a good foundation. <laughs> i laid a good foundation today guys and uh i'm pretty satisfied <laughs> with it <laughs> i'm sorry um, but that's what it feels like. It feels like you've done that over a period of time. You've, you've, you've taken, you've made choices and you, and you let some things go from your life and you let something come, some things come into your life. You've shifted what you needed to shift. And maybe it's just one thought at a time, one, one, uh, belief system at a time, Things have just slowly progressed into this new place, into this new foundation. And from what I can see is like it's starting to really come, come to life, life, come to life, come alive. Um, it's like a blueprint from the beginning. I know my nails are horrible. I, I just rather say something about it. So you just sort of take that out of your, this is the life of a two year with a two year old where you just have a lot of fun and the nails are really ugly. And, and no time to fix them. Um, so I'm just saying that instead so that you're not hung up on that. Just don't care now. Um, maybe you didn't from the beginning. I didn't even have to say anything. Here's the blueprint of a new basis. A new um, pillar. Is that what it's called? And then here we are actually building it. So this is the sketch this is what you've written on a piece of paper or wished for or fantasized about. And here is the actual thing standing right next to it. And 
it's coming alive over the seasons now it's coming alive it, it is coming to fruition you might be dealing with a uh, gemini guys could be dealing with a libra new foundation is this patience and planning so there's you you want to have this whole mentality whatever this is that you want to see come to fruition whatever this longing is for for you guys you put the blank fill the blank space in there for yourself what it is that you're waiting for to come about and it obviously could be anything but material it could be like a vision you have for the world it can it can be anything um it's slowly coming into fruition it's slowly coming into reality we're moving out from the sketch and into the real thing okay as we're waiting for this to just fully now fully materialize fully come into clear view we're we can just as well and i love to <laughs> annoy you because pisces when you really want something to happen the last thing you want to hear is that just go meditate for a bit just go rest a bit. go take a nature walk go out in nature but i do i feel that though it feels like you connect in the most if you're out in nature if you're by the water Pisces, you're such a deep emotional species that when you connect in with yourself or in with nature like that, being re really close to nature like that, that's when you're finding your home, that's when you find your core, and when you're in your core, you're going to see things moving. So it serves you to meditate, it serves you to listen to good music, if that's what's getting you to con connect in with yourself. If you can be around kids and animals, that's a plus because they're sort of always bringing a happy spirit. Um, it's a number four there at the same time, almost not showing there in the midst of the woods. Maybe not sort of seeing the trees. What? Seeing the woods for all the trees is what we say. You don't say woods. See the forest for all the trees. Yeah. Number four. All about the heart it's a heart matter something that is really near and dear to your heart and it's a new foundation so it's such an emphasis on this new foundation that you're building it from scratch and you might not even realize that that's what you're doing and that's why you're a bit impatient because you don't understand that every choice you're making now and not just now like i said over the weekend this could have been like for the past three to five years that has been an ongoing ever-changing way of looking at things that has led you to this very place okay then we have number six and is this moving on and i love the fact that this is moving on it's like it's moving forward we're moving on now we're we're stepping further into the into what you're aiming for what you're looking for right uh and i it's something about seasons as well seasons and the trees and the because here, here we have like snowfall and we have, maybe you see that, the leaves, like the fall and rain and like summertime and it's, it's showing different seasons or diff, like not, not necessarily like spring, fall, winter, summer, but the different seasons like I guess that's what they're coming with, but that's not the emphasis here. It's not the emphasis is not really on whether it's weather, whether it's um, fall or summer. the The emphasis here is on the actual near yeah, the bird. <laughs> Lower board. Yeah, the bird. It's on the actual whether it's snowing or raining or being sunshine or like the different type of types of weather. Um, and sitting in this, it's a, it's a weather feeling in this card. And here again, it's like we're stepping away from the old leaves. The old leaves are leaving, leafing into the new leaves. It's like 
this is such a different vibe than this. We're stepping out of the darkness and into the light. And it's the number six who speaks about the totality of you, the complete love of you. Like I said, it's a heart matter and we're moving into this now. So you, you can drop the whole frustration and the whole being patient because you don't have to be patient. We're moving on now. You're stepping into it now. You're choosing it now. There's no more waiting game. It's like we're, we're moved past that. And it's two blue borders, which speaks about how you found an authentic voice. You found... I don't know, it's almost like you're walking around in nature speaking to yourself. I'm not judging anybody. I'm sitting here in front of a camera speaking to myself. Or you. But there's like a, this is my voice and I'm speaking it. This is what I think and I'm authentic in it and I'm showing the true version of myself. And that has also not come easy. It hasn't come over a weekend. It has come over the past several years. And so I think as much as you've been waiting for this new foundation to be laid, I think this new foundation somewhat is talking about you. And the impatience you feel is the impatience you have with yourself. Because it's... And only you who are interested in new fun, this newfound foundation in yourself is going to find this reading interesting. The rest is just going to be, ooh, what is she talking about? That's too deep, too heavy, too, almost, almost boring. If you're understanding what I'm talking about, this is the most exciting news you had in a long time. That you're understanding it's being picked up somewhere, somewhere here that, you know, it's being heard. You, there's a new foundation being laid around you. You're the new foundation somehow. What else for Pisces? And you're choosing it. You're not choosing to stay in the old and the old foundation in the old way of life. You're choosing the new authentically. What else for Pisces? Pisces. <laughs> are we doing? Are we doing this again? Really, universe? No. I was gonna say. love begins and so it begins you've laid the foundation you created a new version of yourself you've stuck to your heart you've you really have focus in what really matters to you you've become the most authentic and true and honest and pure version of yourself that you can be i'm not saying you can't have bad days i'm not saying you can have a temper you can have conflict or other things with people i'm not saying that i'm just saying there's a purity to you that is quite rare and it has taken you some time to get to this point and now that you're here moving on love begins and yes obviously if that is a relationship that somebody has been wanting if that is a uh, friendship with somebody that somebody has been wanting, uh, co-worker, family member, whatever this is for you with the love begins. It can be a baby, it can be a puppy, it can be anything. Yes, all of that and above and what else you want. However, I feel like this, because of the, the way that I'm feeling the energy around here, around this, I should say, is you... Because you reach this place within you, and when I said it's a heart matter, it makes more even more sense now. You reach this place from within. Now love begins. It just feels like you now, now whatever you do, now whether you're doing, doing the dishes or walking in nature or meeting your friend or meeting a partner 
or grocery shopping or talking to the trees or talking to a puppy or whatever this is. Love has begun. You're coming from love now. You're not coming from a distorted I'm not worthy. You're not coming from uh, I don't have time. Lack consciousness, I should say. Like there's a, there's a, we don't have, we don't have enough of something place. You're coming from love. It's like Pisces freaking write a book about it because people need to know uh, how you did that. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. My, my name is Inka and I'm from, uh, I can't even, okay, anyway, uh, this is like you, of course, it's, it has taken you some time to lay a new foundation. You're still working on it. It's a work in progress, obviously, but you've, have, you've come so freaking far. I'm going to go into the extended and see what else I can find about this. If it doesn't sound too cryptic, cryptic and I have two people with me still. I just want to say that I lowered the price for the extended because I've gotten some comments that they really wanted to be able to listen to the extended, but I, they just couldn't afford it right now due to this situation that some people are in. I figured I could just, you know, contribute on my end and just lower the price. It might not, it might be that some people still feel like it, it really didn't matter for me because I still can't afford it, but I hope that it will help some people at least. Um, and maybe I keep it that way forever, or maybe I raise it again when, when the climate is a bit better on this earth. Um, so check it out if you feel drawn to it. If not, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back in a week. Take care guys. Bye.